A nephroid is a type of curve often seen on the surface of a cup of coffee in the sunshine. A crescent of light formed by sunlight reflecting off the inside of the cup onto the surface of the drink. More generally, it's the shape made by parallel rays of light reflecting from the inside of any semicircle. In mathematical terms, this means that the nephroid is the catacostic of a circle when the light source is at infinity, a fact first demonstrated by Christian Huygens in 1678 and published by him in his Traité de la Lumière of 1690. A catacostic, by the way, is just a curve formed by light reflecting from a curved surface. A physical explanation for why this particular curve was involved in the phenomenon had to wait until 1838 when George Airy gave a proof in terms of the wave theory of light. The name nephroid, which comes from the Latin for kidney-shaped, was introduced in 1878 by the English mathematician Richard Proctor in his book The Geometry of Cycloids. Prior to that, it was known as a two-cusped epicycloid. So here's another type of curve we need to define. An epicycloid is produced by tracing the path of a chosen point on the circumference of a circle which rolls without slipping around another fixed circle. The nephroid is the epicycloid formed by a circle of radius a rolling around the outside of a fixed circle of radius 2a. It has a length of 24a, an area of 12 pi a squared, and is given by the parametric equations x equals a times 3 cos t minus cos 3t and y equals a times 3 sin t minus sin 3t. The nephroid is the involute of the special kind of sinusoidal curve known as Cayley's sextic, and it's also the envelope of circles with their centers on a given circle, touching a given diameter of that circle. The nephroid has been described as the perfect shape for a multi-seat dining table. Not to be mistaken with the ordinary nephroid is Freeth's nephroid, named after the English mathematician T.J. Freeth, who first wrote about it in a paper published by the London Mathematical Society in 1879. Freeth's nephroid is the strophoid, kind of looping curve, of a circle and has the polar equation r equals a times 1 plus 2 sine theta over 2. I'll be doing videos on all these different kinds of curve, epicycloids, involutes, strophoids, and so on, because there's quite a menagerie of them to keep track of. Incidentally, Freeth's nephroid is also the name of a group of mathematicians, mostly from Royal Holloway College, London, who gather weekly in a pub called the Beehive and compete in games of trivial pursuit.